Now, KCAU 9 News starts with your forecast first. Good afternoon, Siouxland. Starting to see a little bit more cloud coverage making its way in. Starting to make that highway interchange between 75 and 20 a little bit cloudier. But either way, we've been seeing some pretty pleasant May temperatures with most of us in the 70s. Though it has been a little bit cooler out in eastern Siouxland. But I'll let you know how Memorial Day is shaping up as KCAU 9 News starts right now. We are Siouxland Proud. This is KCAU 9 News at 530. Good evening and thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Travis Chen. The sound of motorcycles rang throughout Sergeant Bluff and South Sioux City today as hundreds of motorcyclists honored those who made the ultimate sacrifice. It's our top story at 530. The 10th annual Thunder on the Missouri kicked off as bikers left the Sergeant Bluff Community Center and made their way to Siouxland Freedom Park where motorcycles gave a thunder salute, which had folks throttle their engines for a minute in honor of veterans that died for their country. Marty Hogan with Thunder on the M Missouri says this is one he can honor his fellow vets. I served a long time. I served since the early 80s. Um, I know a lot of people, some didn't come back. Um, you know, this is, just, this is just a way to honor their, their service. Hogan says he believes that roughly 300 people showed up to today's event, which would have been the most people they've seen participate in the past 10 years. Well, the Public Library in Vermilion, South Dakota isn't just for checking out books anymore. You're also able to check out everything from board games to gardening tools. Quinn Masick has more. The Public Library in downtown Vermilion will now start checking out household items to residents. Right now, um, the collection, including the puzzles and games, is around about 95 items. It's not huge, um, and it's just something that we've been testing out to see what kind of things people are interested in. Daniel Bernston says the program, called Library of Things, offers everyday items from board games and puzzles to tools and equipment. Maybe just so need batteries or something simple like that, but they don't often have on hand, or it's one of those purchases people don't want to make. They buy it once, use it for five minutes, and then probably don't use it again for a long time. I'm going to be checking out the ground tester soon. So we have a little garden going on, and that's just something that we don't have to pick up, even though it's, you know, I don't know, it's just nice when you have very niche things that you don't have to purchase. Bernston says the original idea came from USD's Sustainability Club. They had a capstone class who was doing a research project, and their research project for that semester um, they chose was the like circular economy or sharing economy, like this idea of trying to reuse and share more materials and move away from the disposable economy. Um, and so they came to talk to us about this idea of the library of things. Bernston says this collection is for everyone. We do require that adults check them out, but any adult um, library card member can check, check the materials out. They're available to anyone. They can just pick them up off the shelf, bring them up to the circulation desk and check them out. Helping community members one item at a time. 